What's up guys, it's Neil here with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you two iOS 9 glitches that will allow you to place folders within folders. So for the first method, start by entering editing mode. On my device, I'm going to place the folder that I want to get into in the top row because I've had better success there, especially in the right corner. But it may be different on your device and you may be able to do it from anywhere. Then just tap and hold the folder you want to move, and then continuously tap the one you're trying to get into. And then eventually you'll get inside and you'll be able to drop and save it. Again, it worked better on the top row on my device, but you may have better success from anywhere. For method two, we're going to adjust our settings. We're going to go to settings, general, accessibility, then make sure the preference reduce motion is toggled on. This will reduce that parallax effect that you see when you're moving in and out of folders or in and out of applications. Next, you can just go home. Then again, we're going to change the positioning of our application or our layout, and we're going to place a folder in our dock. It doesn't matter where in the dock, just that it's in the dock. Now enter edit mode or editing mode, then continuously tap the area where that folder is in the dock. So I'm just going to keep doing this. Now in between, as I move in and out, I'm going to try to grab or tap and hold on a folder on my home screen. So let's try this. I'll just try to do it on our first try. There we go. Then I can keep doing it if I want to and try to grab another folder and place it inside of there. Then I can just save it and go home and move it and place my other app back in my dock. So those are the two steps. Definitely check out the full guide over at gadgethacks.com, especially if you want to see another glitch that lets you remove the labels on your folders. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for some more awesome and very useful gadget hack videos. Thanks, guys.